36 OMAD. What is 36 OMAD? It is combining one meal a day with the 36 hour fats. I lost the majority of my weight eating in a one meal a day fasting schedule as that way of eating helped my body heal itself from multiple things, from metabolic dysfunction, from craving sugar all the time, from craving food all the time, from all of the inflammation I had, from all the injuries I had from my car accident, um, and the whole lot. So I'm very grateful to this diet, but I'm also cognizant of the ability to learn how to lose weight and maintain that weight with other forms of dieting. So I want you to keep that in mind, but if you are starting your weight loss journey or need a bit of a weight loss, fat burner reset, try this. Try the 36 OMAD. What is the 36 OMAD? It is basically eating one meal a day after fasting for 36 hours. So you can call it a type of alternate day fasting. Now let me get the definition straight here when it comes to what is alternate day fasting versus the 36 hour fast. Alternate day fasting is a rolling fasting method where you eat for 12 hours after fasting for 36 hours, or you can eat for 12 hours and then fast for 36 hours. Now it's a type of rolling fast. So to consider it an alternate day fast, you have to go through one cycle. So let's say you eat for 12 hours and let's say eat till for 12 hours, you eat within a 12 hour eating window. You don't eat every minute on the minute. No, you don't do that because you're just going to gain the weight and your fasting is not going to help you do anything. No, it's eating within that 12 hour eating window, eating meals that are spaced out. That's what we mean. You don't eat constantly. The point of fasting is to avoid eating constantly so you are not spiking your insulin levels, so you're not spiking your body's ability to hold fat. That's not how we do it. So that is that. And there's one cycle. So you eat for 12 hours, fast for 36, eat within a 12 hour eating window, fast for 36. That's that's ADF right there. So you have to do two fasts consecu consecutively. That's what I consider it ADF. Some people do it for a week. Some people do it for two weeks. Some people do it for a month. For me, I can only do one cycle of ADF, which is two 36-hour fasts back to back. That is ADF. The 36-hour fast is just one fast, and then you are basically eating normally. Why do I want to combine or why am I suggesting to combine the 36 hour fast with one meal a day? Because when you do one meal a day for a while, you can get stuck because our body loves to adapt. Our body loves the ability to stay the same, especially when it comes to losing weight. So the 36 hour fast is known as the fat burner reset fast. It is a fast that has shown clinically to be able to re reverse and reduce very resistant weight on your body. It helps helps break through resistant weight loss. It helps break through weight loss plateaus. So let's say you're doing one meal a day for a while and then you feel like things aren't moving for a bit and it has happened on my journey. That's when you throw in a 36 hour plus fast. When I first started my one meal a day journey, I was doing within the first about, I think, first three to six months or th three to, yeah, no, more three to four months. I did extended fast. So the first month I did like two back-to-back -back alternate day 48 hour fasts. And then the second month I threw in a 48, third month 48 here and there. Then I took a break from fasting because I want to focus on eating because eating is where weight loss happens. Weight loss doesn't happen with fasting. Of course, you're going to lose weight with fasting. What I mean is controlling your food. That's the key. So I practiced eating, lost weight with eating. Mind you, I was doing keto. And then I introduced a dry fasting method to get myself down to my lowest weight because it's actually harder to lose weight when you are closer to your goal weight. It's harder to let go that it's easy to lose weight when you have more weight on you. If you know what you're doing, if you are using these tools to metabolically reset. So this is why I talk about combining one meal a day with a 36 hour fast. It's a great tool to help break a plateau or to speed up weight loss. With that being said, I want you to understand the importance of weight loss is 
learning how to eat properly. You use fasting as a tool to reset your system, to help heal your system, to help correct your satiety signals, to help reduce your blood sugar levels. And then when you come out from that fast, you better be practicing eating in a way that will sustain the effects of that fast and not eating in a way that will revert the effects of that fast, meaning eating in a junk food kind of diet way or eating naked carbs, refined carbohydrates, because these carbs are not natural to our bodies. That's why we're seeing obesity at epidemic levels, because our body did not come up with a system to properly process these refined carbohydrates. These refined carbohydrates are doing a lot of damage to us. Cancer spiking, uh, type 2 diabetes is spiking, Alzheimer's disease, which is actually type 3 diabetes, PCOS, S, inflammatory skin conditions, Crohn's di disease, arthritis, I can throw a whole list out there. And it does have to do a lot with our diet. So it's important to understand that fasting is a tool. You use it as a tool, but please have in the back of your mind that you are going to practice eating properly and making this a lifestyle. And not only that, exercise. Weight loss happens in the kitchen. Exercise is important because you want to be able to help your cardiovascular health. That's obviously going to help your lifespan. You want to be able to build muscle because that's obviously going to bring up your BMR and it's going to be able to allow you to become more insulin sensitive. You want to do all those things. But if the struggle is nutrition, focus on the nutrition, use fasting as a tool to heal. So it gives you a chance to be able to eat in a whole food kind of healthy way because it's really hard to do it. That's why people struggle with weight loss so much. Basically, you know, let's say you go from eating junk food, eating junk food, and then you revert back to trying to eat healthy. It's harder to do that when your system is fighting you, when your body's demanding more glucose because the gut microbacteria you have active or the ones that want glucose or your body's so used to using glucose as a tool for fuel instead of burning fatty acids. Like that's why fasting it, it can be a tool to help that. You can do it in that way, but you have to have a lot of willpower and not a lot of people have a lot of willpower. That's why a lot of people give up on losing weight and they turn to unfortunately to other methods of doing it. Now, don't get me wrong. I am a fan of weight loss tools, um, but personally, I think the best way to learn how to lose weight is to change your lifestyle. That's how it is. If you want something you never have, you have to become something or someone you've never been. Anyway, if you made it this far into the video, just drop in some green heart emojis and I'm sending you guys mad love. Take care. Bye.